Well, good morning to you all. Uh, a mixed bag for the weather today, that is for sure, as I was coming in. Wind, rain, some sunny spells. Temperatures around 10 degrees at the moment, rising to 13 degrees throughout the day. Uh, being very windy later on, gusts between 50 and 60 miles an hour, so look out for that one. <laughs> CCR weather. Lots to get our teeth into today. A 17-day wait for a mum's funeral. The Justice Secretary puts his foot in it well and truly. And super injunctions. That's Duffy. Warwick Avenue. Good morning. My name's Rob Bashford. This is Stop the Press. If it's your first time... Uh, listening to this programme, Sunday mornings between 10 and 12, it's your opportunity to have your say on the top stories of the day. Good morning, how are we today? Uh, slightly after 10 o'clock, I'm Rob Bashforth, back with Stop the Press, two hours of topical conversation on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I can't go away for a week, can I? Top stories coming after the Ting Tings. We've got the news. Cooler in the sea breeze if you're around the coast. Uh, but generally speaking, a nice, bright, sunny day here in the Canal Side region again. Yeah, it's bound to be snowing somewhere in the United Kingdom. And I was really surprised yesterday <laughs> uh, when I was listening to the news. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, they said a possibility of some snow in Scotland. So whilst we've got 18 degrees a high today, somewhere in Scotland it could be snowing. Oh, so 102.8 CCR weather. 80 odd thousand pounds for a pretzel on your hat. I don't, I don't believe it, do you? <laughs> Uh, what's happening in the weather today? Uh, today, bright at times with broken cloud and showers. Uh, the showers will be heavy and blustery at times, especially over the hills, becoming lighter and less frequent later. Uh, winds will be strong and gusty at times. Temperatures around 15 degrees Celsius. That's 59 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> CCR weather. In the next hour, what have we got coming up? We've got cameras that can tell you your speed and put the traffic lights on red for you. We've also got vegan prisoners who want better snacks. And did you know that gossip is good for you? All that in the next hour. You can have your say 01625 576633. You can look me up on Twitter, at Canal Side Radio. You can email me, studio at ccr-fm.co.uk. It's four minutes past 11. Here's CeeLo Green. Bright lights, bigger city. Uh, do you think uh, if you were making the decision at home and you were looking at that, what would you decide to do? Would you decide to cut down people's hours and make people start working voluntary hours in work in order to save their jobs, in order to save £10 million pounds here in our borough, four to 500 people possibly at risk? Or would you decide that you would get rid of the head of partnerships? It's paying £42,000. Get rid of the nuclear-free local authorities, secretariat policy and research advisor at £37,543. If you were making those choices, what would they be? 01625 57 double six double three. 27 minutes past 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Just been talking and expressing a view about some of the way in which the councils waste their money. Uh, and I've got Sylvia on the line, who was also making a point on how the councils seem to be wasting their money. Uh, and this is a, a criticism a little bit more locally, isn't it, uh, Sylvia? Yes, it is, actually. Yeah. Uh, the council's uh, spending money on per chairs. It costs £998 each? £980-something, pounds, yes. And we wonder why we are in a time of austerity. 
well, this is it. I mean, why haven't they bought local? ...fence and say, right, we're not going to do anything with that particular area. It is that important to the community. Is there a particular area? Would it be for, for disabled people, for the mental health uh, side of it? What areas? I mean, in Manchester, we saw them a lot of criticism uh, of the way that they were doing this slash and burn policy of they're going to get rid of swimming pools. They're going to uh, get rid of parking attendance. They're, they're going to increase parking fines at night. They're going to get rid of some of the parks. And there was a whole raft of areas, things which affect people directly, getting rid of libraries, closing libraries down. Would you be one of these people who would say, look, libraries are very important, the parks are important, the swimming pools are important because, you know, these are recreation areas where people go and meet. If there was yes. a particular line, where would you think we should start? I mean, it's a difficult question. and you know, It is a... difficult, but I think... Um... Getting, getting rid of the libraries, um, I don't know where I stand on that because mm. with, with computers and kids having computers now yeah. and, and these new, like, Kindles coming, Kindles coming out, you yep. can get books. Yep. Um, but, like, the leisure side of it, like swimming pools and that, mm. um, just the ordinary Joe blogs in the street, they're not... I mean, I go to a gym... And I pay to go to a gym. Yeah. Uh, oh, it says here, nice for our actual Mondeo man that is now costing Mondeo man £93 to fill his car up in round figures. But how many times do you fill your car up per week? Have you got a particularly economical car? Have you got a car that, a gas guzzler, a Jaguar, or something like that, such as that, where you're only getting 20 miles or less than 20 miles to the gallon? But off your Mondeo man, how many times a week do you have to actually fill your car up? It's all right saying it's £97, but how many times do you actually have to fill that car up? And is the price of petrol nowadays putting you off using it? Are you thinking about using other forms of transport? Are you thinking about using the bus, the train, maybe even a taxi? Could be cheaper than pulling the car out and driving it down the road. Your thoughts on that one this morning, please? 016255 also today, four in ten of us can't stand our next door's pet. Uh, while we see our pets as part of the... Four in ten, should we say. Four in ten, which is almost 50%. Let's put it that way. 40% out of 100. Uh, want, don't like, next door's cat, dog, hamster, snake, whatever it is that they happen to have. You don't like it. It's annoying. Are you one of those people? You can ring me today anonymously if you like. 01625576633. Have you got a neighbour that's got an annoying pet? I'd like to hear from you today. That should be an interesting one. <laughs> Have you got an annoying pet next door? You could be an annoying neighbour. You might want to ring me on that. You could classify you as your neighbour as a pet if you like. She's so lovely. Scouting for girls. The Ian, Ben, Jack, Alfie, the twins, April and Dave, all listening to us this morning down in Hanforth. Good morning to you all guys down there. Hope you're having a good day. It's a bit miserable outside at the moment. Hope things pick up. Uh, now on the other side of the news, uh, we're going to be touching on a few different things. Have your bins out for half a day too long and get a £110 fine. That's going to be introduced by a council down south. And as you know what they say... If they deliver it in one place and it works, then they'll bring it up here. All councils look at what everybody else is doing. If they think it's a good idea, then you can bet your bottom dollar that you'll find it happening up here. Also, as I touched on uh, earlier today, and I shall be playing the thing, uh, the uh, interview out later, uh, at 93 year old, a man was found driving up the wrong way on the carriageway of the M42. I have to laugh. At 93 years of age, he did not have a clue. They had to close the motorway. The police had to go down. They did not even realise that the police were following him. At 93 years of age, do you think it's about time that you'd be hanging up your car keys? 01625576633. Should we put a compulsory age and say, right, OK, at 65, you're going to hang the keys up. You've got your, money, your bus pass. Uh, use the bus. Use the train. It's free for you now. You don't need your car. Your thoughts on that one this morning. Whether or not you should still be driving at the age of 93. And if you leave your bins out for half an hour extra, would you be happy to get a £110 fine? I don't think I would. All that coming up in the next hour of the programme is Annie Lennox and why.
Rose of Leon and Pyro. 20 minutes past 10, Sunday morning with me, Rob Bashful, looking at the top headlines of the day. Also looking back during the course of the week at some of the headlines which have been hitting our papers. Time of austerity, times of cutbacks. Macclesfield Express this week, anger after lifeline cuts for disabled youngsters. Parents fear they may be put forced to put their children into care after Macclesfield's overnight care facility for disabled youngsters was closed. More on that story uh, a little bit later on. Uh, just prior to the Kings of Leon, we talked about, or I talked about, uh, the Nimrod MRA-4 aircraft, which has been basically chopped to pieces and hacked to pieces, and we saw pictures of it earlier in the week. Uh, the government said uh, they don't need the aeroplane anymore. It costs £4 billion. It has problems. Uh, we're going to scrap it at the cost of 450 jobs down at British Aerospace in Woodford. Uh, but your thoughts on that one this morning, I've got, uh, Jerry's going to be coming up a little bit later on. He's got comments on that one. He was wondering whether or not, in actual fact, it was the MRA4. But Harry Atkinson, Harry, good morning. Good morning. Uh, scenes down at British Aerospace of aeroplanes being basically cannibalised by bulldozers. Is it what the British public need to see, you know, after spending £4 billion on it? No, I don't think it is. I think it's terrible. You know, a, a lot of manpower... Uh, I've met very, you know, many hours spent. Parents fear they may be forced into putting their children into care after Macclesfield's only overnight care facility for disabled youngsters was closed. I've got Lynn Shar uh, Lynn's on the phone. Good morning, Lynn. You've Hi. got to, uh, a comment on this one, haven't you? Yeah, um, it's not necessarily about Priors Hill, but it's just about respite in general. Respite, um, yeah. In, in Cheshire. Um, I think... Um, East Cheshire seem to be picking on um, targeting uh, people with special needs at the moment. Um, but I think when they say they're going to close somewhere, that they do throw the, pe you know, the carers and the parents of the family into panic. Yes. Um, obviously, it, it just, just doesn't happen like that. There are two sides to the story. So, in, in what sense are the, uh, is there two sides? Because well, the if the facility is there, uh, Lynn, and they suddenly take it away and they don't replace it for anything, yeah, then but, surely but, the you know the people who use that facility, uh, they've got nowhere else to go, have they? Yeah, they do. They do offer alternatives, yeah. and sometimes things like this are better. Um, I can't go into detail on this morning, but uh, birthday wishes there for him. Do it, do it, do it, do it, uh, for all you guys, do it, do it, here's hot it chip, it, it, and it's ready for the floor. Say it, say it now. You're listening to Rob Bashforth on Canalside Community Radio, 102.8 FM. Now, talking about chickens. Jerry's on the line. Jerry, you're going to put me rice on chickens now, aren't you? Yes. You thought that you need a cockerel to make them lay. And you don't. You don't need a cockerel. Now, this is the article. The article on this particular instance is that this farm have got to, uh, these chickens, and these chickens are causing a nuisance. Yeah. Uh, but following on from that, if you have chickens at home, uh, you don't need. You can have hens only. You don't need cockerels. That's is that right. what you're saying? So yeah. you don't need. You don't need the cockerel to fertilise the hen in order for see that they're fertilised, rather right. than have have the cock uh, have the hen sit on eggs that aren't. So hang on, just uh, just wind back a second. Do you only have a fertilised egg? Is that for actually eating, or is that for chickens? Cockerel who come oh, and visit me. No. Oh well, the, they, uh, the cockerel won't fight, but he's 